Okay, so we're going to show you the actual procedure on the so-called happy lift threads. So these are kinds of revitalizing barb threads that are absorbable and actually the threads are from Italy. Okay, so we have with us Ma'am Reza and we did already surface landmarkings. There are important landmarks that we should also take note here. We have two safety lines. Initially, we uh, have the first safety line on the lateral cantus to the tragus of the ear. The second safety line is from the medial cantus to the modulus. Okay. It's very important to place these safety lines because there are vital structures that we have to avoid. So we wanted to avoid yung mga branches ng ating temporal blood vessel, temporal nerves, and also we wanted to avoid yung mga facial artery branches dito sa middle um, midline area, okay, medial to this safety line number two. And then we will have entry points, three entry points on the first safety line and three exit points on the second safety line. So we have mga intermediate lines here. That's where we will be inserting our polycaprolactone threads. So we're doing reshaping. We have three reshaping lines, one, two, and the three. And the goal is to lift lower to the mid-face area. So we are repositioning our fat compartments. So we have the happy lip revitalizing threads for an immediate facial lifting without the cut. Okay, so it's important to do the surface landmarkings. And then also after this, we have to anesthetize the skin. So we have injected lidocaine into the intradermally, okay, because that's the site where we will be placing our threads. Okay, actually the positioning of the threads will be in the so-called suprasmas layer or subdermis layer. We will be using the happy lift free-floating thread. So we have here a box of my Real Life Happy Lift Revitalizing Free Floating Threads. Okay, so sterile po ang mga contents nito. These kinds of revitalizing threads are also indicated for, I could say sa ating mga, si ma'am kasi, 70s eh. So, senior citizens, yan, those who wanted to uh, have a lifting without surgery. So, this is also a procedure that you can do for them, okay? Um, the others kasi, if there's really a severe sagginess na, uh, they're being advised surgery. But for some people po, ayaw muna nilang mag-surgery. So, this is okay. We can still do this. Although, ideally po talaga, we wanted to do this yung mga moderate yung sagginess. Kasi si mama, I could say, hindi naman ganun talaga ka-severe yung sagginess. I have seen mga patients na age uh, 60s and above much severe ang sagginess so with mam resa we could still do a lifting using our revitalizing threads po so a non-surgical approach so initially we did the injection of the lidocaine kanina we could still check the lidocaine injection okay so entry point po will be in the temporal region I did the markings already so I know where to insert my revitalizing threads. And then we have exit points here. Yan, si Ma'am Reza is just fine. I'm just adding a little bit of lidocaine. Okay, medyo may sensation pa po dito. So it's important to really make sure na anesthetize ang ating skin. Okay. But it's tolerable naman po. Just some ano lang po, discomfort. Then we have our entry point. So we need a gauge 19 needle. So this is our gauge 19 needle for the entry. So my first reshaping line will be, I made a marker here. Ideally, it's one centimeter from the so-called first entry point. Here, poke lang po. And then I will be using a so-called cannula. You can use either like a gauge 19 or a gauge 20 cannula. And I need a drape. Okay. So our gauge 
19 or gauge 20 cannula, we have to poke this part here. There you go. And then just follow the line that we made. So I'm following the first so-called reshaping line. Okay, first reshaping line is here. So mom has a thicker volume of tissues. So yung mga soft tissues, I could say na still good. We just wanted to reposition our fat pad tissues po. So I'm already near the safety line. Okay, and then exit na po. Then once you have inserted the entire length of this needle or cannula. So I now have my first uh, free floating thread. It's a 12 centimeter cog caprolactone lactate thread. Okay, you can see it's color white. It's a flexible thread. And these kinds of barb threads are, we call them bidirectional convergent types of threads. And compared with the other types of lifting threads, the caprolactone lactate, they last longer. Okay. So, I will now pull out my needle. Okay. So, you notice that we have a long needle here. Okay, there you go. So, that's the first one. So, I need to re-enter again for my second reshaping line. So, I need my poker. So, for my second reshaping line, it's 1 cm from my first entry. So, this is the second entry point. So, 1 cm lateral to that. This is my second entry point. And then, I'll insert this long needle again into the second entry point. So, my second exit point will be after the first entry, rather after the first exit point. So, the goal again is to lift the droopy or saggy part of the face. And then, we'll use our second pre-floating thread. Okay, again, this is a caprolactone lactate barb bidirectional type of lifting threads. Or we also call them suspension threads. So, we insert this into this cannula needle. Okay. So, take note, I have a 12 centimeter, like a 120 millimeter thread. So I now need to do my third. My third entry point will be 3 cm from the lateral cantus of the eye. So I need my poker again to give me an entry point, the third entry point. So this is now my third entry point. Now I will follow this third intermediate line which is this one. We wanted to lift also the superior jowl here. OS, sterile OS, please. So, I wanted to lift my superior jowl entering via this third entry. So, at first, I want to follow this circle here. Actually, this is a target area for the lifting or pulling. So, I want to follow this and then after that direct the cannula needle into this superior jowl or about two centimeters from the corner of the mouth there so that's my exit sorry okay. so it's sensitive near the mouth but that's fine we're already we were able to exit already so i need my third free floating thread so it's free floating compared with the 
double needle thread which we have demonstrated before this one doesn't have an attached needle with it so some bleeding so true and true so we have entry point exit point the third reshaping line Sorry, ma'am. That's the third. Okay. So, we're done with our um, left side. So, what we just need to do is cut both the ends of this cog thread. Okay? So, it's also ideal to do a so-called bunching on the mid-face region, the mid-cheek region. You can do a bunch so that all the soft tissues will be in the middle in the mid cheek region so you can do already this pulling technique so there will be a tightening firming lifting and it's gonna be tighter actually the threads will still stimulate some of our fibroblast it's revitalizing because your own tissues will build your own collagen protein as time passes by with the help of this revitalizing threads so just cutting okay. so we did use three free floating and we had three reshaping lines here so it's a mid face to lower face reshaping and lifting treatment okay so ating pong ipagpapatuloy ang other side sa pagbabalik ng CSA certified skin authority back so we are proceeding to the right side area okay so we did the pre-floating threads happy lift revitalizing threads on the left side so we'll now continue on the right side okay um, a while ago we checked if there's already an improvement and we have noticed a decrease in the nasolabial fold on the left side so, the treated area here, compared with the untreated area, we have already noticed a lifting, an immediate lifting effect. So, again, as a review, we have two safety lines. The first safety line from the lateral canthus of the eye to the tragus of the ear. The second safety line from the medial canthus of the eye to the corner of the mouth or the so-called modiolus. Okay. So again, safety lines are important to be marked because we wanted to avoid vital structures like here, the upper temple region, we wanted to avoid the superficial temporal artery as well as the temporal branches of the facial nerve. And then in the second safety line, we also want to avoid the branches of the facial artery because the facial artery courses through this nasolabial fold up to the lateral aspect of our nose okay so i'm using again this you can use a gauge 19 or a gauge 20 needle or cannula needle okay so my first reshaping line so the middle of this safety line here so kindly disinfect please so again it's important to be very sterile disinfect the area okay so our first entry point will be this one okay sterile os please so we have a sterile gauze here okay and then my first reshaping line will be this one first entry point i'll be going towards the side of the nose so we're into the target region and then until I reach the first my first exit point. So it's near the safety line already. Okay, I'll be exiting. There you go. And then I'll pull out the inner middle. And my first free floating thread again for the right side. It's a free floating, it doesn't have the double needle, which we had in the happy lift double needle thread. 
So actually, the technique that we're doing is a so-called soft tissue repositioning or soft tissue reshaping. STR technique number three. Number three because we use three, three floating threads for each side. So you just have to insert this first free floating thread and then I have now this one here pulling out okay so next our next reshaping line will be one centimeter lateral to the first entry point so it's actually near my hairline region already so I made an entry point here then it's one centimeter below our first reshaping line so I'm again following the path with the target area so I'm now in my exit point okay. so it's lateral to that second safety line so my second free floating thread again it's made of a caprolactone lactate thread it's an absorbable suture suspension thread it's barred bidirectional convergent type of threads and they are also revitalizing threads aside from lifting or mechanically pulling the soft tissue upwards they also revitalize the tissues in a way they are also biostimulators they will stimulate our fibroblast cells to synthesize new collagen fibers okay so the third reshaping line here entry point and towards the target region so, we have a very good anesthesia effect on MAM. We did the injection intradermally of the lidocaine with epinephrine following the path of the thread. So, my last entry and exit point, the third reshaping line is this one. So, this is helping to, this will help in lifting the jowling or the jowl fat of the face. So we have targeted our superficial fat, fat compartments. We have targeted malar fat or the middle cheek fat pad, the medial cheek fat pad, the nasolabial cheek fat pad, and the jowl fat pad. So those are soft tissues that we wanted to reposition or bring them back to their upper position. So I'm just inserting this kind this pre-floating thread on my third reshaping line into this cannula needle okay there you go okay so the last part will just be to cut those exposed threads so we can do like a gentle lifting of this pre-floating thread gentle lifting gentle lifting so you can actually do a so-called bunching whereby you wanted to reposition these soft tissues here you wanted to make the jaw fat, the medial cheek fat pad, the medial cheek fat pad the nasolabial fat pad, the malar fat pad, you wanted to lift them so following the third reshaping, second reshaping line and the first reshaping line Again, for our doctors, it's very important to be knowledgeable about face anatomy. You have to really master the anatomy of the face, the different blood vessels, arteries, veins, and nerves, as well as the different soft tissue layers of our face. It's not a simple technique. Okay, This is an advanced technique. And these are procedures that we need to undergo a lot of trainings. Okay, so pressing on this one, press on this one, and press on that one. There you go. There's already like a bite of the cog in the inner tissues of the face. So there you go. And the last one. So I can already appreciate a lifting. The nasolabial fold has been decreased. And the mid-face part has been repositioned. The fat compartments have been lifted. Okay.
Kung meron po silang katanungan, you may email us at csaskinclinic at yahoo.com Our FB page, CSA Derm Centre My Instagram, doc underscore contesa Our, e, um, our address is second floor pure gold the U building the U MacArthur Highway Mabalakat Pampanga contact number 0453311117 or 0917504426 okay mga kasi say mayroon po tayong bagong natutunan ngayon salamat po sa patuloy niyong panonood and our other topics po our videos nasa aming YouTube channel Contessa Salvador and please do not forget to click like and subscribe as well so thank you